I'm a speech language pathologist here in Keller ISD and I travel to several campuses supporting children who are nonverbal. So the idea behind having a core communication board outside at recess and on the playground is just to really encourage the students that are non-speaking and speaking to interact together. Slide, swing, swing. So my son has apraxia, he was just diagnosed and he doesn't speak. So uh, he started using an AAC called LAMP and it was tremendous. He could tell me what he wanted, no meltdowns. So I just thought, why can't other places have these boards? So I contacted four school districts and Melissa was like, let's do it. She was the only school district that ever called me back even, that ever wrote me back and they, it was it's been wonderful to work with them. When Kendra came to me and gave me all these ideas to make it affordable, I just, I was so excited. Um, so I researched and I talked to KCAL Digital Department and they just helped it come to life. I'm a partner and I come and I interact and play with the kids. If we want to ask them it and have them understand it just a little more, we can ask them, say, hey, do you want to swing? And then point to the picture. And then have them point to yes or no, or like, what do you want to do? And have them point to swing, slide, or climb. So these boards help us build this relationship because if they are having trouble communicating with us, and if they show us here, then it can help us better understand them and they can know like, oh, they know what I'm talking about. So right now we have 19 schools with these communication core boards on the playground. I'm hoping to have five or six more before the end of the school year. And then the next phase is to have some standalone boards on poles for the playgrounds that don't have fences close by. Um, and again, it's just making it more accessible to more students across the district.